Hi, and welcome back to the channel. We are continuing The Legend of Korra. This is book four, chapter five, titled Enemy at the Gates. Might be relating to what's going to happen at Salfu with Kuvira taking her army to Salfu. It's, it's the last holdout, I guess you could say, in, in the old Earth Kingdom, which is now the Earth Empire. And, and yeah, damn, that's, uh, that's going to be some... Some tough stuff there to get into, um, and and we ha we had in the previous chapter, Cora, uh, she kind of found some of that balance inside of herself again, and got that poison out of her system. Uh, tough helped her with with that a lot, like she helped Cora help herself, and then in the end, Cora got reunited with the Airbender kids who went out looking for her. They had a little bit of an adventure there themselves, which was uh, very enjoyable. So yeah, what's gonna happen? Are you ready to jump into this one? Yeah. All right. Do you have anything to say before we do? Do you wanna? No, no? all right, yep. same deal. As, same deal as last time. As with the last video, of course. Um, yeah, let's get into it. You can, of course, always check out our full length reactions where you can sync up the footage with your own copy of the episode. We also have early reactions for some of the shows that we're doing, including The Legend of Korra, where we are several episodes ahead. It's all over on Patreon, and the link is down in the description below. Let's go. Wow. Yeah. We have an emergency. Getting straight into it. Kavir is already here, and she brought her entire army. Damn. The fuck? I'm ready to take it by force. No. The eyes of the world are on us now. We must do this right. That's why we need Bolin. Do you really think we can rely on him? Sue trusts him. She'll listen to him. Hmm. Are you sure we should be going to saved my dad. She was a captain in Sue's guard. I think she can be reasoned with. What? No fight? <laughs> Why did we go through all that trouble to save you if you're not going to beat someone up? <laughs> she might still have to do that. In this stasis capsule is a preserved spirit vine sample weighing approximately two Julies. This machine should transfer the energy from the vine into a battery using electrical currents and a little-known phenomenon I call the very effect. So he's making batteries? What's going on? He did say it was unstable. Ah! Julie, shut it down! There are too many barracks! <laughs> too many barracks. Oh, that's the same kind of energy beam. Like the one that Batu was able to like shoot. Maybe, yeah. And had the same sound and everything. Mm hmm You saved me. What the hell? I saved you. I can't clean this place up by myself. What happened? Were we attacked? <laughs> no. Do you realize what we can do with this kind of power? I do. And that's why we gotta put an end to it. What if it fell into the wrong hands? I've been having these strange feelings. Inside, it's like I'm concerned with others. <laughs> He's actually become a human. Evolving. <laughs> I just really gotta stand my ground on this one. Wow! Now there's a voice in my head telling me to drop you on the tracks. I'll work on the project. Please don't drop me. Wow. Damn, Kavira. But okay, I'm actually glad we got that whole scene and that exchange there. I have a few things to say about that. Mm -hmm. Oh. I'm here to return these. He looks different. You open them. Stop writing me. Lost weight. I never want to see or hear from you again. You are the greatest thing I ever created. Am I in trouble? <laughs> no. In fact, I have good news. Sue has some resentment towards me and Batar that might cloud her judgment. We believe you can help her see clearly. By the time I'm finished telling her all the great things we've done, she'll be begging to join. Good, because we're here. The army is here to project strength. You're here to present peace. Don't buy into this, Bolin, please. Hmm. Damn, that's a lot of troops. Yep. 
I can't believe he brought Bo Lin here to try and sway us. Zhao Fu will never accept you as their leader. Then you leave me no choice. You have 24 hours to agree to join the Empire or we take the city by force. So why did you bring the army again? <laughs> yeah. To show what you have accomplished? And a bunch of other people are here too. <laughs> When people don't cooperate, we must find other ways of convincing them to join. How many times have we used these other ways in the past? It's not for you to worry about. <laughs> so, uh... Come on, Bolin. Those people are my loyal subjects, and they contribute to the Empire however I see fit. Th just listen to what she's saying. I didn't know your personal feelings for Opal were stronger than your loyalty to me. Wow. Zhao Fu will join us. Maybe you need to spend some time in a re-education camp. I thought that's where we send people to learn new trade skills. Mm. Get very right, get out. <laughs> yeah. Three years ago, after the fall of the Earth Queen, Raiko and Tenzin came to see me. I'm honored that you thought of me, but I'm not interested in imposing my ideals on an entire nation. The Earth Queen nearly destroyed our nation. This is our opportunity to change things. It's not going to happen. I didn't realize at the time, but that moment created a rift between us. We're going to Ba Sing Se to help bring order back to the Earth Kingdom. No! You will stay here! Your security force was more than happy to join my cause. They're some of the best fighters in the world, and they are tired of being treated like exotic birds in your cage. Yes, you leave now. I knew it was only a matter of time until she made her way back here. Yeah. I want to fix this. You can. Go into the Avatar State and demolish her army. Remove Kuvira from power once and for all. That's a Fighting bit is something the old me would aggressive. Do. That always made things worse. Maybe I can reason with her. I think I'm running out of air. Julie! Hold your breath. I'm not holding my breath. <laughs> Great! Now we're both gonna die! Barrick! <gasps> get right, get out! Where did that hatch come from? Forget the hatch! There's something important I gotta tell you. <laughs> Kuvira's crazy. crazy! How'd you find out? When I refused to build her a super weapon, she threatened my life! We gotta get out of here. Mm -hmm. Couldn't agree more, kid. Do the thing. Whoa. Look, I was tasked with bringing stability to the Earth Kingdom. Zhao Fu is the last holdout. Why should I treat it differently than any other state? Because there's no right? instability going on in Zhao Fu. Go back to Su and try to talk some sense into her. Let's call a temporary truce. Maybe that will be for the best. Have you seen Bolin? He came by to see Varric, but we turned him away. We have some fugitives to catch. Oh. Don't look back. Oh, let me think about this. You could do both. Oh, fuck. Ah! Ooh. Come on, Shuli. That's not the flamethrower. What idiot designed these things? You did. <laughs> Come on, Bolin. Just fucking lava bend that shit. I figured it out. Don't. Sir, you're making this very difficult. He's so capable. There we go. Whoa. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was brutal. I was like, you just killed those two, but no. Thanks a lot, Julie. <laughs> she did her best. Yeah. I'm not sure I'll ever be able to forgive you, but that doesn't mean I shouldn't try. Mm -hmm. I thought we could play some pie show. Nothing would make me happier. That's lovely. Yeah. This is not. No. <laughs> I was blindly devoted to Varric, and I looked past all the times he ridiculed me or ordered me around or made me clean his disgusting. I want to devote my life to you. Is this a trick? I pledge my allegiance to you, Great Uniter. I don't think so. You two could learn something from her. Do the thing. No! Not the she thing. said it! Julie! I don't blame Where's her, though. Yeah. They're going to sneak into Kuvira's camp and put an end to this. 
No, this is not the right way. <sighs> okay. Yeah, no, yeah, that's not the right way to, to do it. It's, it's <laughs> that's just... not the right way to end the episode. <laughs> yeah, not that. I don't know. Damn. Oh, things are getting intense. Absolutely. And it almost feels like we're, we're getting close to some sort of like finale, you know, with that big army outside, outside Saofu and Kuvira is and Korra might get into it soon. And it's, mm -hmm. it, it feels like, oh, we, we're almost at the end of, of this book, but we're not. <laughs> that was just chapter five. Like we, we, we have a ways to go yet. So um, a lot can still happen. But that was Chapter 5, Enemy at the Gates. Very, very fitting title, <laughs> uh, I'd say. We don't have any uh, questions or comments this time around. Um, maybe if, if there are some, then we'll get into them at the beginning of the next one. So, so this is just going to be a shorter-ish conversation also because we are a little bit pressed for time. But uh, damn, Kuvira, she's making moves. I, I get the whole, you know, trying to bring some stability to uh, the what was the Earth Kingdom because it was, you know, falling kind of out of balance and with a power vacuum, what's going to happen? Some people might need help and there might be some bandits and outlaws out there that need to be kind of put down. Well, that, that sounds maybe a bit too aggressive, not with killing them, but just arresting them, just bringing peace. I totally get that, um, but just like the rest of Korra's antagonists, just like Toph said in the previous chapter, I, there's nothing wrong with these ideas, but all of these people are just taking it way too far into extremism. Yep. Ko Kuvira is doing the exact same thing, and just listening to her, what she's saying, the way she's saying it, uh, especially in that scene there with Bolin and sending people to camps and yeah it's just alarms are going off everywhere re-education camps re-education camps ew yeah exactly that just has a very icky vibe to it and here i'm not talking about <laughs> no icky as in <laughs> one of the like you know the airbender <laughs> icky but um, an icky sticky situation icky, icky, icky. yeah we oui. but i'm really glad that it actually turns out that Varric is because it was something that I mentioned to you mm -hmm. earlier today that oh man I'm actually a bit disappointed in Varric because Sue kind of took him in and gave him a, a new purpose a new life in Saofu and now it seems like he's just stabbing her in the back and just going with another horrible person and he's developing who knows what for her like he's just going back to his old ways he's learned nothing but then we actually found out that yes he has learned something um he, he feel like he doesn't want to endanger people anymore uh he has those little voices that's telling him that what he uh used to do or the way that he used to do things it, it might be the wrong way to do it um and then Kovira just threatened him into like continuing on, um, and and you you called it when when with Bolin just yeah <laughs> get very get out get very get the fuck out, um, and they almost managed to do that, mm -hmm. but then they they got bested um, by Qatar. Is that his name? I think so. Yeah, uh, Sue's son who has allied himself with Kovira, and then Shuli kind of just betrayed Varric. Not that we necessarily blame her, because <laughs> it's he's, mm. he's always been pretty damn mean to her. And even like we got a scene when like when he saved her from falling off the tracks there off the train. And it looked like they were getting into a bit of a romantic moment and something that maybe she even wanted at that Point and and then he was just like thank god you're back and because i need you to clean up and, and and that was pretty much it so he's not looking at her in that way so is that why she's so mad at him now because he kind of turned her away or is it like all of it 
just stacking on top of each other Every, everything that he's been like the way he's been mistreating her all of these years and just having her clean up after him and scrubbing his Toast. nasty feet <laughs> and, um yeah sort of don't blame her but still like maybe don't ally yourself with someone like Kuvira um, but there still might like same as with Bolin who was supporting Kuvira up until he found out about Wade there's some stuff you're not telling me like have you taken cities by force before and what's with these re-education camps mm -hmm. what's going on maybe the same thing is going to happen to Shuli and she's going to flip-flop again at mm -hmm. some point um, or maybe it is just a trick and she's still very loyal to Varric and I she's because she knew that Kuvira is going to keep Varric. Bar so if Shuli does this, she can stick around and then rescue Varric later on. Or maybe it's just, I'm, just me being very optimistic here. <laughs> I think <laughs> you might. are. It would be nice though. Yeah. And maybe he could actually see how fantastic she's been to him all of this time. And he could actually stop trading him, her so goddamn badly. <laughs> yeah. And actually maybe start to. I don't know, treat her like a person or just yeah, free just her or something. Evolve some more. Now he found out that, oh, wait, I don't want to endanger people. Now he just needs to take that further and maybe I shouldn't mistreat my assistant. <laughs> just yeah. normal human decency. Uh, yeah. Just incorporate that into your life as well, Varric. Um, he's learning slow but, but, but steady, it seems. Um, but he's going to keep on working on this thing that uh, Kuvira wants weaponized and it very much just like I mentioned it seems like it, it's the same kind of energy beam thing that Vatu was able to do and mm -hmm. and then uh, you know the dark avatar later on Una Vatu <laughs> so if he manages to weaponize that for Kuvira of course that's that's really not good um and then sending Bolin to one of these re-education camps. So someone's going to have to rescue Bolin. Mako, maybe? Mako! Hey, Mako! That would be great. <laughs> if, 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 yeah. And, and that'll be a way for them to, you know... Mend fences. Mend the fences, yeah. But what about Korra? Because with the conversation that she had with Kovira, like, ah, don't, don't let her fool you, Korra. It's this is not the way to do it. Um, but maybe she just wanted to like hear what she had to say and then go back and talk to Sue about it. But now Sue is doing something completely different, which is that's maybe not the way forward either, because that's just gonna escalate things. Yeah. And I'm really afraid for like what's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Um. Damn. Yeah. But it, it was sorry. I'm I'm jumping around a little bit. But it was a very cool fight sequence. Oh, that, with the, with the uh, mechs, yeah. robots, the suits. Um, you, you could definitely see it was kind of CGI-ish, and mm, they do that very... sometimes, um, also with the army approaching. Uh, but but still pretty cool. Bolin loose, used his lava bending, and, and they almost prevailed because of that. And then Shu Li, I had no idea she was such a badass. No. I mean, Damn. Like she she would have defeated all of them if it wasn't because Varric kind of fucked up <laughs> again. Thank you. And then we also got a little bit of a, a flashback, kind of another flashback to mm. three years ago, just when book three ended. They had that power vacuum in the Earth Kingdom and the president and Tenson talked to Sue. They wanted her to kind of step in and, and fill that vacuum but she didn't want to do it and that's when everything happened between her and Kuvira and it seemed like a lot of people was agreeing with Kuvira and yeah I, I wonder how much like all of the people she has working for her she, her entire army like how much all of them knows like it seems like she's very good at bending information in a way yeah yeah and just keeping things from from certain people and like she's hiding some stuff, hiding some in, some of some of the stuff that she's doing with you know taking some of these cities by force and and these camps. So maybe that's just a part of the people who's working for her, the the ones who are the most loyal to her, who knows about that, and everybody else thinks that she's just this great uniter who's only doing good things, mm -hmm. and that's why they they are being so loyal to her. I I don't. 
I don't know. It, it's, it's it's a rhetorical thing what she's doing. Where she takes something like the re-education camp and she calls it that. And then it's something about like, we need to uh, figure out a way to hone your skills in trade. Mm. And that's not what's going to... That's not what they mean. It, they mean like a lab, labor slave, slave labor yeah, camp. Exactly. Uh, that That's even, you know, some of the reports from some of the cities they have already liberated and once they left like they're just forcing them into some kind of slave labor um so yeah it's just alarms red flags again going off in all all directions and i do see where she comes from kavira yeah yeah and i do understand this situation but i just i got a lot and uh, more respect for su yin saying mm. hey these people i should not go in by force and mm. take passing say by force because that means they will see us as conquerors yeah and they will not necessarily share my ideas and i think that's a lovely thing that that whatever they believe in mm. should be voluntary like they should yeah, they should voluntarily mm. be in uh salfu and yeah and adhere to this or not adhere but at least uh help this collective mind about stuff it's just it's a, a golden standard for me like an ideal for me yeah yeah sue does not want to force her ideals on anyone else and and the way that she's running things in Southfu, that's because it, it's people who believe in her and who volunteered uh, in, in a way you know she's not forcing it on on anyone so i I really respect that, but we also get where Kavira is coming from, Absolutely. why she wanted to do what, what she has been doing for the past three years. So it is, once again, one of those villains, antagonists that, yeah, I, I get where you're coming from, but the way you're going about things, maybe not the, the right way to do it. And then, and then what she said about Saofu being the holdout, that it's it's the last place that they need to sort of liberate or like I'm 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 having a hard time seeing like okay so what is the argument here because I I get you know saving cities and villages that has fallen into chaos because of the power vacuum and being overrun by bandits like we saw earlier in in this book but there's nothing wrong with Salfu like they're not in trouble at all no it's so it's a... like what 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 is the argument to the rest of the world there if if she wants to legitimize it in the eyes of, of the rest of the world leaders like why what is the argument for taking Salfu other than I want Salfu well because Salfu doesn't need help <laughs> uniting like yeah, yeah like uniting in the spirit of the earth kingdom Bes besides, way, like, besides that yeah I, I think that's what how she's gonna sell it yeah but but she's gonna get into trouble with the rest of the world right even what she said at the coronation like if anyone stands in our way we're gonna crush you and it's like whoa that's not hmm if, if that's how you feel about the earth kingdom now the earth empire what's gonna stop you from applying that to the rest of the world and becoming the new fire nation uh or the new osai sosin whatever uh damn it's just Good stuff. Very exciting. Very excited about what's what's going to happen. Also afraid about what's going to happen. So yeah. Sorry, I've I've been talking a lot. Do you have, have anything else you want to add to this one? Not really. I think. No. No. Fair enough. Then we'll see if if there's uh, going to be some some comments or some questions from from Patreon uh, next time because we did I did put up the post a little bit late today, so that might be why. Um, so um, hopefully. If people put in a comment or a question, we're going to be able to get to it at the start of the next reaction. But that's going to do it for this one. The Legend of Korra, Book 4, Chapter 5, Enemy at the Gates. Thank you guys so much for watching as always, and we'll see you very soon. Bye. Bye.